This is the video review for Transformers Energon Demolishor. It is a pretty good looking dump truck. Now, it has some gaps in there that I don't quite like, but given how simple the figure is, I don't know what could have been done to fix those. Overall, he's fairly nice. And I do like this giant Decepticon logo, especially how if you look at it from the top, all the lines match up, despite this bending in. I, they did a good job on that. Rolls pretty nice. A bit too loud for my taste, but not bad. And overall, it has a pretty nice sculpt. This figure has a gimmick where if you detab his um, dump, you can turn it around as a gun rack here. There are missiles that go in here, then you have buttons back here that will fire them. And that's pretty neat. I won't be firing any because I don't want to lose any. And yeah, I like that gimmick. It gives him personality. It's a useful gimmick, like it actually looks like it has a purpose to it. It's not just something random. And I like the salt mode. To transform him, fold this back. Detab the legs from the back. And fold the legs down. Take this and swing it all the way forward and tab it in under the torso. Take the arms here, swing them all the way around and put them down, around and put them down. Raise up the camera, yes this is a, this is Part of his instructions, he'll show raise up the camera. And then, this is pretty neat. You see his grill here? This will rotate down, and then this will go onto his back, and that will reveal his head, because it's on a hinge here. Now, unfortunately, this part doesn't do anything to lock in that I can find. The instructions don't show anything, and I don't. There are tabs back here, but those are for. Uh, pegging the leg, the waist into itself to sort of balance it out. If you put this down, there, there's no way it can tab in. And I dislike that. I'll, I'll probably find some way to modify it so it'll work, but for now it's knock against the figure for me. For my enjoyment of this toy. And on the design. And this is Demolisher in robot mode. And while it's kind of pudgy, I think it works. It's a very Decepticon vibe. It's very chunky and quite nice. I will say I don't like this clear plastic on the arms. There's no reason to do it and I can see this plastic cracking eventually down the line. One thing interesting about his head is that it's on a double joint like this. And I don't really know why. I mean it does give him some nice posability. You can look up and down. But I don't know why that engineering was done when it would have been easy enough to make him just swivel left and right. I mean, there's this angle here, but I guess it's just so he can move his head without disturbing that angle. For his posability, his head can look left, right, up, and down. The shores go forward, back, in, out, and he can go 180 at the elbow. He has a waist swivel, but if you turn the waist swivel, it'll push this out. Legs go forward, back, out, rotate above the knee, and you can get 90 at the knee. And you can bend the foot out like that. So, he's a pretty nice figure. For what he is, I like him. He could be better, but... Well, he's an older figure at this point. I don't expect as much out of older figures. I can't say I'm disappointed. Buy at your own risk. Those are my thoughts. Thank you for watching.